Hi everyone, my name is Angela from Angela Stitches and welcome to my first stitching vlog of 2020. So this week I'll be starting six new projects, um, one project a day. And in my last video I asked which project you would like to see first to be started. And I got a couple of comments saying Oliver, which I was super happy about because Oliver by Stacy Nash Primitives is one of my favorites. So I was super happy to start this. And isn't that such a cute name for a cat, Oliver? I think it's really cute. So I started this today and I don't have any of the called for general arts. So I wanted to use coloring cotton, but then I didn't have any dark, um, a dark color that was close to a black. So I actually ordered some today, but I don't think I'll be getting those anytime soon. And I didn't want it to wait, so I just started with regular DMC. Um, well, Anchor Black and two other DMCs. And what I like about this is that it is called to be stitched on a 35 count with one strand and two strands in some areas, but I only had 32 count fabrics. So what I'm going to do, oh, before that, I think um, using one strand in some areas and two strands in some areas gives a little bit of a dimension to what is a pretty much a flat design, I think. And also, I think using one strand is what makes this design look more primitive or it adds to being more prim and I really love that. So back to what I was talking about, the fabric. Um, since I only have 32 count and I also have some 40 count, but I wanted this to have that prim effect of using one and two strands. So I chose 32 count 30 by Zweigard. I know I said I was going to use chestnut, which was a bit more reddish brown fabric, but I'm using dirty linen and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch how it's called for using one and two strands in the um, called for areas or the way it's designed. And then I'm going to boil it in hot water. And I read it somewhere if you boil the fabric and run it under some cold water after and do that repetitively, the fabric shrinks a little bit. So I'm going to do that after I finish stitching and shrink the whole thing. And I feel like that's going to close up some of the um, one strand cross stitches, but it won't be like full coverage like two over two. The main reason I want to shrink the fabric after finishing the project is because Fabric and floss, I'm assuming, won't shrink at the same rate. And I think that's going to look more primitive or more aged because of the unevenness. I don't know if that's even true or even possible, but I don't know. I just want to experiment and I don't think any color will bleed since I'm just using DMC and Anchor. But even if it does, I think that's okay. I think that's going to add to the aging process. Um, I actually put this fabric in like a pot of boiling water before I started the project and when I did that I had, I had two stitches here and I took it out of the boiling water, ironed it and then I stitched another two cross stitches here. So the stitches that were added before the boiling process has a bit more coverage because it shrank and I like that better than the two stitches that were added later. So that's my plan for this project. And what I like about this is that at a glance, this design looks symmetrical, but it's not really. Um, like the most obvious difference are the ears and the face is not exactly round. And I think that adds to the look of this design being prim, which I really love. So tomorrow I'll be starting a new project and this also has a black cat and it's from the Halloween box from Color and Cotton and it's called Creeping It Round and it came as a kit so here are the flosses um, it's super pretty and the fabric um, it's called Cauldron Bubble 32 count so I'll be starting this tomorrow it is January 2nd and I want to talk about a new project that I really want to start that is not part of the six new starts with cats. This is something that I really wanted to do and it's the linen and threads mystery sampler. Um, 
And a couple of months ago, someone commented about a red sampler, and I always wanted to do one, but couldn't find a design that I really liked. And I also wanted to do a mystery sampler, so I checked their website and saw it came out yesterday. And to be honest, I already see some similarities with the 2019 sampler, like the butterfly or the moth is exactly the same design, but I don't know, I just want to try it. So I went out today and got a large piece of white 32 count linen by Zweigart. Um, I wanted to do it on the 40 count originally, but I actually have this red Valdini or Valdani thread that I got. Um, to be honest, I don't remember when I got this. I think I also have a blue one or like a sea green one that I can't find right now. This is size 12 and I looked it up and I think I could use one strand of this on 32 count. So that's why I got 32 count instead of 40. And so I tried stitching some crosses here and I think I like the coverage. I think it looks okay. And I know I'm going to have to get more of these later to finish this whole thing. And if there is back stitching, which I hope there isn't, I think I'll use 321 DMC or something similar to this red Valdani thread um, because I think this will be too thick for doing back stitching. So I'll be starting this after I start all of my six new projects. So when I was out today to get the um, 32 count linen, um, I found this shop and I got this ribbon for Oliver and I said I would change the color to a green or a blue, but um, I got this brown color. I should have gotten the other colors, but I guess I could go back later. But this is really soft and pretty and it's a little darker than the one in the photo, but it's super cute. Um, so I got that today and then I also found another shop and they had some ribbons that I just wanted to have. So I got this red tassel-like ribbon. I thought this would be nice when I do like a pillow finish or even an ornament, I guess. And they even had rickrack, so if I need rickrack, I know where to go. So I got two colors, two different colors of greens. And this was a dollar each. Um, really affordable, I think. And... I don't know what I'll do with these, but I just like the ruffles, so I got three of the two-toned color ones and one just solid um, dusty pink color. Um, I was actually looking for some chenille type trims, like the fuzzy kinds, but I couldn't find any. But I'll be using some of these in some projects this year, and now I'm going to start working on creeping it round, so I'll see you in a little bit. So it's been a couple of hours and I finished the middle character with the ghost and worked on the black cat. And I really love this color. It's called black cat. <laughs> Very appropriate. Um, I wonder if she has this in her shop. I'll check that later. Um, I actually just placed an order from Color and Cotton, but I don't think I saw black cat. Um, anyways, so tomorrow I'm going to start a new project. I want to start... Miss Isabel Black by Scattered Seed Samplers, another black cat, and I'll be stitching her on this 40 count sampler gold by Color and Cotton. And I also ordered the companion piece to this, and I'll put a picture here. So this fabric is big enough to do both, and instead of using DMC, I'll be doing a conversion to Color and Cotton. So these are the DMC, and these are the colors that I chose from my stash. And I feel like these are a pretty good match. Um, I thought the dress she's wearing was more purple, but it's actually this brownish mauve color. So I was really happy with that because I'm not a, I'm not a fan of purple. So I was really happy about that. And most of these doesn't have names, so I'm sorry I can't really tell you what these are. I got these from grab bags that she has on her site, on her website. And for the cat, it says must use DMC 37.99 but I'm going to wait until I get my color and cotton floss order and decide um, because I got a couple of dark blacks and grays and for the mice on the bottom I couldn't find a good match of grays so I just have the call for DMC out for now but I'll change that if I um, get my order from color and cotton 
So I'm going to work on this now and I'll check in in a couple of hours. It's Saturday and the last time I worked on this was on Thursday. It's Miss Isabel Black by Scattered Seed Samplers. I just started on the pumpkin and but I didn't do much so I didn't record anything and I didn't stitch at all yesterday. Um, I think I'm getting a little sick. My throat is a little scratchy but it's not too bad. So anyways, uh, so today I finished the pumpkin and started on the skirt. So I'm using color and cotton and for this pumpkin I'm using this color. It doesn't have a name but I realized that the dark part of the floss was going right across above his mouth and I was going to take that out and fix it but it kind of reminds me of little kids with smudges on their faces after playing in the playground so um, it made me laugh so I decided to leave it and this is a needle minder that I got from Color and Cotton Halloween box. Um, I really love it. It actually matches the color of the pumpkin. And a couple of weeks ago, I ordered this glow-in-the-dark floss from DMC, and I actually forgot about this, but it came yesterday, and I didn't get this for any particular reason. I just wanted to see it, but if it came sooner or if I remembered it, I could have used it and creeping it around for the white areas like the ghost and the word boo. I guess I could frog it and restitch it, but I haven't decided if I wanted to do that yet. But if I do, I'll let you know. So tomorrow I'll be starting another new project. This also has a black cat in it. It's by Barbara Anna called Witch Cat. And um, again, I'm using color and cotton flosses. And for the cat, I'm going to wait to get my floss order from color and cotton. But these are the colors that I chose. So this green is for the witch's face and this gray is for the numbers and this brown is for the witch's hair, and this gray for their dresses, and this one for the numbers, so I'll put that over here, and then this brown is for the ground color, and this yellow screen is for the motifs around the design, so I'll be using that one, and the brown in the middle is for the spots on the cat, and for the cat, like I said, I'll be waiting for my color and cotton floss order. So I'll be starting this tomorrow and I'll come back with some progress. It's Sunday the 5th and sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I think I have the cold and it's always my voice that's first to go. So I'm really sorry about that. But I wanted to show you my new start. Um, I did get a lot done today. And I'm using the color and cotton flosses that I said I was going to use. So I did everything that I could without the black color. Um, I could still do the bottom, the ground, but I haven't done that yet. And when I get my floss order from color and cotton, I'll do the, um, I'll start on the cat. So, oh, and I forgot to say, this is Barbara Anna Designs called Witch Cat. And this is my progress or my new start. And tomorrow I'll be starting a new project. I think I'm gonna start Cats, Cats, Cats by John Lynn. And I already organized the threads to the paper cards that came with it. So I'll come back tomorrow to show you my progress. Um, but I really hope I don't completely lose my voice tomorrow. It is Monday morning and my voice doesn't sound too bad, right? I hope it's okay. So last night, after I recorded my clip, I decided that I want to start my linen and threads mystery cell. So I started it on the linen that I got, and I'm using the Valdani thread in size 12. And am I crazy or does this look variegated? Um, I thought it was a regular solid red color, but it looks like it's dark in some places and brighter in some places. But if it is variegated, I'm not complaining. I kind of wanted to get the silks for you silk because I love the subtle variegation that it has. So I actually really love this. It was a really nice surprise. And I remembered why I got this Valdani in the first place. So last year or the year before, I was really into crocheting doilies and I, I, was really, I really wanted to be good at it. 
And I thought I was supposed to get these um, Valdani threads, but these ended up being too thin. Um, and I wasn't experienced enough to crochet with something so thin. So I just had these in my stash and I also found a green one. I guess I was into Christmas colors then. I don't know. But I really love stitching with this. Um, I love the coverage and I'm doing this on 32 count and with one strand. So one over two with the Valdani size 12 and I just love it. I love the coverage and it's super nice to stitch with. It feels very nice. Um, so now I want to get and collect all of the Valdani's and this is going to be a problem. <laughs> but anyways, so today I'll be starting Cats by Janlin. So I'll come back with my progress in a little bit. So it's been a couple of hours and this is my new start. So this is Cats, Cats, Cats by Janlin. And I started on this corner and this house is full of cats. Just in this corner, um, this house has one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, no, eleven. There's one picking through here. And there's even a little mouse. So eleven cats, one mice. And I love this design. It's really cute. And you can even cut out a picture of your own cat and add it here. But I don't think I'm going to do that. And for lots of the Janlin kits and charts, backstitching is really... Um, their design really heavily rely on backstitching, so the backstitching is going to be the most important, I think. So I think I'll be backstitching as I go, so every section that I finish, I'll finish the backstitching of it as well. Anyways, that's my new start, and so I started all of my new projects that I wanted to start, except for one, and this is the one that I haven't started yet, but I think I want to save this for a different day. So you see this in a different video. And this is the fabric that I chose for this project. So now I think I'm going to continue to work on the mystery style by Linen and Threads. I just love Valdani threads. Um, it's really nice to work with. So anyways, I think I'm going to end the video here. And thank you to everyone who watched my 2019 whips video. I'll try to make my finishes video, but once I get over the cold, I don't think um, I can talk for 15 to 20 minutes straight, but that will be up during this month. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!